Hello again everyone. So this tutorial is designed to show you just how easy it is to create wounds using gelatin. If you guys have not heard of this before, it's basically a DIY way of creating FX gel, which I personally feel is better than latex when doing certain looks. It also allows a much greater range in creating some really gory detail. If you like this tutorial, then please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment if you think you would give this a try. If you've not made your own FX gel before, you can watch my other tutorial on how to make this safely. The link is in the description. Before applying the gelatin, you need to make sure it's had about 10 seconds to cool. Remember, this is very hot when it comes out of the microwave and no special effect is worth actually injuring yourself for. Once it's cool enough to touch, start applying the gelatin to your skin in the area you want the piece. Once you're applying this, you want to smooth off the edges so it seamlessly blends into your skin. You do need to work quickly whilst applying this, as when it cools, it becomes more tacky and difficult to apply. Once you've applied the gelatin and still working quickly, you can start to use a spatula to make the wound. For this tutorial, I've done a simple cut, but you really can produce any look you want from this. If you start to also find that the gelatin is sticking to your spatula, then apply a little petroleum jelly to the end of the spatula to stop this from happening. Once you have finished making your wound, you want to apply some setting or baby powder to the gelatin and make sure you remove any excess powder. Next, we want to apply some colour to the wound. When doing wounds, I always go with dark paint or cream to the inside edges and then use a deep red filling for the rest of the area and finish off with applying a little light blood red to the top edges. Now that the wound has its colour, it's time to finish the piece off with some blood. I'm using some dark blood for this and if you have lighter blood that will work too. I only apply little when doing these type of wounds as you want the detail to be visible and not hidden by lots of blood. I also use a stipple brush to apply little blood around the wound to finish the piece.
there you have it, a very simple wound using gelatin. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and again if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I would really appreciate it. You can also check me out on Instagram and until next time, have fun.